Hi, welcome to Makers Bar. I'm Akshita Shetty. Today we have Navneet uh, Ranjan, a independent filmmaker from Mingle and Jingle Films. His latest movie is Kora Kagas, which narrates a tale of three souls that rise above their circumstances. Today, let us learn about his journey and his latest movie and how he became a director. Welcome, Ranjan. Yeah, thank you, Akshita, uh, for uh, bringing me to uh, Makers Bar. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming, and uh, I am still trying to figure out how to pronounce your name rightly. So, anyways, uh, so let's start with the questions and tell me a little bit, you know, about your childhood and how did you start? Um, how did you think about a career in filmmaking, and why? Why did you know you think about making independent movies, and what inspired you? Okay. so yeah i have been always curious about the world and storytelling and i always felt uh, it gives you kind of a attention and also you can grab attention of people and also kind of empower them and engage them in lot of ways so yeah. i was born in a small town in india in bihar called muzaffarpur and growing up years books uh, going around the neighborhood learning from each other then i went to a boarding school i was always active in storytelling theater and uh, photography traveling then i worked while i was in my college in delhi university i did lot of theater for different organization we had our own group and then i <clears throat> was kind of graduated to world of film making and i saw the possibility under one roof thousand people are watching or 300 400 people so you were grabbing their attention and showcasing what you want to so i saw a lot of possibility and slowly i got into copywriting advertising and then i graduated to film making and i felt that it's a great medium to engage empower inspire and create some kind of wealth in that process and create a opportunity so for myself and for a lot of people who are working on a project on each project which we make so yeah it's like a startup each uh, film is a startup kind of yeah thing. yeah i totally hear you i i definitely think like with each film uh, film a director is actually uh, a startup entrepreneur i would say that and it requires a lot of leadership as well so yes. so what made you choose like independent movies like everybody wants to do like a commercial blockbuster uh, kind of movie right and what made you choose uh, you know this route or is it that you still want to do commercial movies at some point in your career and you you think this was a good story that you wanted to start or what made you what what was what was that decision uh, process like okay so yeah why not i don't think uh, yeah commercial is something which is like a mainstream like escapist but yeah. this story was very close because i have worked in lot of social impact programs so we yeah. uh, so my background has been also in um, documentary film making so one yeah. of my film called dharavi diary which traveled in lot of film festivals around the world and after that we started a social impact program in mumbai called dharavi diary and mm -hmm. which uh, won google rise award and lot of uh, international attention because we were the first people who brought technology for the lowest income first generation school goers yeah. to uh, learn technology and to solve problems their community problems using their know how and then i also uh, volunteered and worked with lot of juvenile homes in mumbai and during that time i, I had friends who were into dramatics into film making and different so i saw uh, girls in the juvenile home also struggling the people who were running the juvenile home they had lot of struggles but in that whole process what i felt how i can use uh, what if like three individuals from three different strata of society they meet in this juvenile home away from home and how they find home and yeah. how this so that story was very close and i was uh, literally trying to uh, so i uh, it was uh, 
like it was just at the back of my head and so yeah. i felt like why not start with it it's a small indi- independent budget uh, film uh, yeah. budget film so i can pull it off and that's why i got into it and made it possible because lot of studios when you reach out with projects like this they are not very keen to be yeah. part of that and but i think it's a very important subject which we need to address right now after post uh, climate yeah. the climate change and all that is yeah. impacting everyone so i think it's a very important subject and that's why i want to and coming yeah. back yeah, i w- i would love to do like uh, a studio film or a reg- uh, like escapism eventually yeah so i personally feel that Our films are a great medium to engage in power and it should also be self sustaining it should create wealth so that more films can be made people who are investing in the film business they all get inspired and their return on investment goes in place yeah, yeah. so yeah i totally yeah i totally hear you when you say this so i have to say i accidentally started doing makers bar if you look at my background it's like in banking and uh, m&a and before that in engineering and uh, once i started doing makers bar and started bringing stories like i was totally inspired by like the different stories that i was bringing in so um so i, I today as i was thinking about interviewing you i was thinking like if in a different life i think i would want to be a filmmaker because i think this is one of the best places in which you can bring out stories and inspire people so uh so tell me one thing like wh- i mean you said you worked in dharavi and i saw that i was doing some research on you uh and i noticed that as well um so what made you like this this is like very um like uh, slightly different everybody if you if you think about it, i meet a lot of founders i meet a lot of mm-hmm. uh, Entrepreneurs and most of them are doing it. I mean, obviously, money is an outcome of what they do, right? Uh, but you know, to go and work with uh, work work with in Dharavi in a juvenile house, not a lot of people would want to do that, right? So it takes a different DNA, in my opinion. <laughs> so what inspired you to do that, and then from there, you know, uh, bring that story out uh, through Pora Kagas? Yeah. So uh, I would say, like while making the documentary, I felt like there is. Uh, we all talked about that people who are poor, uh, why they are poor. Lot of reasons are there, and especially for first generation learners who are from these marginalized community, and especially yeah. in India, how they are not, uh, they don't get access to good education, and education is the big yeah. enabler. and yeah. uh, that's why when i felt doing that documentary they shared their story and it yeah. traveled in lot of film festivals and all that so i yeah. felt that i get and the story got attention but the community didn't gain anything as such yeah. and at that point of time i was based in the us in the bay area only so i went back in 2014 and then i thought what if i engage and see the possibility how far it has it can so now in uh, next year in february it will be almost 10 years and yeah. i feel that this whole journey has been very empowering for the community we have lot of we have skilled this program in other pockets of india in lower income so i think that uh, somebody has to do it and we uh, it's all about uh, uh like we can't say that and 70% of mumbai population live in neighborhood like that and yeah. it's increasing in lot of metro cities in india and if yeah. we are not going to engage that uh, yeah. demographic then lot of problems will eventually we have to create opportunities we have to give them same uh, uh kind of uh, experience in learning to them so that they can also uh, rise up in their life so that's what was my intent and 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 that's how it is started i don't know wh- from where that courage came but it happened and i uh, it's uh, it's it's just uh, i feel yeah. uh, that it has changed so many life and i think yeah. tiny bit if if each of wherever you, we are uh, and yeah. if we can do make better choices and in, engage with the larger community and giving back to the community and all that will really yeah. empower and uh make this planet for ourselves and for the future generation more uh inclusive eco-friendly and sustainable that's what is yeah. my whole uh intent so it's, it's life yeah. yeah yeah sorry it's interesting you say that because uh like 
when I first started doing Makers Bar, my own family said, what are you doing? Like, what are you wasting your time, right? Mm -hmm. And um, and I said, no, there's something here. I'm like bringing all these stories of these different people. And I think uh, this, these stories need to be told. Mm -hmm. And now that uh, I've done so many uh, recordings at this point, I feel like with every person, I'm learning something new. Like today, mm -hmm. I'm meeting you and bringing your story where you've worked in uh, in Dharavi and you've created a movie around it. And then you took that and you took it to the next level and you uh, came up. I mean, you are you directed Kora Kagas, right? So I, I definitely think that... Uh, giving voice to like such people uh, and uh, giving it inspires me. And you did something very similar, giving voice to uh, people who otherwise would not have had a voice. And I, I feel the same way that it's, even if you do a small drop in the ocean, that's like a big deal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And it's as uh, you are doing a great job because I was uh, looking at you and it's, you can do storytelling. You are already doing storytelling and movie. Yeah. Yeah, movie making we should meet and talk about it i think we need to collaborate on something because you yeah are, yeah for sure i mean i don't think i'll be a movie maker that's not me uh but uh yes i um i have a partner of mine who uh who who loves filmmaking and he is thinking about starting his own production house at some point uh if when he does i'll definitely you know put you all in touch <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're a good yeah. connector yeah yeah and yeah. we need more people like that and yeah i know <laughs> so and makers, and we need more makers who think like a sustainable living and things like that so i think yeah your your platform is great yeah the name sounds very contemporary and very connecting yeah yeah thank you uh it it has been a lot of work to get till here i've had a lot of rejects before this you know uh now you're coming within like overnight and uh, for me to uh have somebody come overnight it's taken two and a half years of work so yes. Anyways, uh, so uh, tell us a little bit now about Kora Kagas. And uh, I saw the trailer and I haven't watched the movie yet. I'm planning to do it this weekend or the weekend after. So tell us a little bit uh, about the movie and uh, what is the story. And I saw like you've got Rajat Kapoor and I, I have seen a lot of his work. He's very, he's a very talented actor. And to have someone like him work mm -hmm. uh, with you is like amazing. And how did you go about doing that? And you know, how did the whole journey happen? Yeah, so Kora Kagas is the story of three, uh, like one is a creative soul, one is a social change maker, and one girl who has a difficult past and yeah. how they come together in this juvenile home and how they learn and unlearn their ways of living, and get inspired and get a perspective shift in their life to be yeah. a better human being and to reconnect with the roots. So it's the story yeah. of three lo lost souls, how they find home away from home. Yeah. And, and coming back to the question of like how Rajat Kapoor, Swastika Mukherjee and all, they came on board. They read yeah. the script and they are very, uh, they have done so much of work of independent films and yeah. uh, great. So they read the script and it was pretty easy for them to come on board because they always uh, like to support independent filmmaking and something yeah. which has a newer voice yeah. which uh, otherwise gets lost in the whole commercialization of uh, uh, so yeah so he it was not very hard to bring him on board once he read the script and he said that okay i would love to be part of it and he gave gave his whole heart and soul to so i'm really grateful to uh, rajit kapoor and swastika mukherjee and rest of the cast and crew yeah. for making it possible yeah. So you mentioned about three lost souls and I feel like uh, all of us are lost souls at the end of the day. We are just finding our path to yeah. our ultimate destination, right? That's that's the entire journey of our life. If you think about it from, a, uh, from a, I have gone through my own, uh, now I'm very clear as to what I want in my life. Mm -hmm. And it has taken me a, uh, taken me uh, like lots of detours to get here, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. all of us are lost souls, and we are trying to figure out how to navigate till the end, right? So yes, what? Yeah. And you said like uh, Rajat Kapoor, and um, they saw the script, and they said, okay, this is amazing, and we want to work on this. So what mm -hmm. made you choose the script? Like, uh, was it um, something that came about, or you wrote it yourself, or how did that uh, happen? So, yeah, so I developed it myself with my co-writer, the story yeah. came, yeah, while working with different people and 
just interacting how people get overwhelmed because of uh, things around. And now when we are living in this uh, uh, internet uh, neural pathways, which are kind of very helpful, but also very overwhelming sometimes. And a uh, lot of relationships are going uh, for toss. A lot of people are getting a uh, lot of mental issues, mental health issues, and how our surrounding climate yeah. change is kind of impacting and all that. So I felt uh, from all my exposure to all this kind of interaction and conversation, I felt that we need to reiterate this kind of dialogue and yeah. what better medium than filmmaking. And that's yeah. why I have tried to uh, bring different uh, uh, like characters for this kind of storytelling. And uh, I feel that how they learn and unlearn from each other's story to make better choices in their life. So that's yeah. why I feel that this story is very important. And that's how uh, we kept developing. And I co uh, wrote the screenplay with my co-writer, Donna Lemon, and, and we um, uh, developed it over a couple of uh, rewrites. And uh, it turned out uh, that's how it shaped up. And then we uh, filmed it yeah, eventually. Yeah. So, um... So obviously, you must have faced a uh, lot of challenges uh, getting to, uh, I mean, I have another friend of mine who's uh, trying to uh, make his own movie, but his is not going to be an independent movie. It is more, uh, I would say he wants to make uh, a commercial movie. And mm -hmm. uh, he tells me about all his challenges, right? You must have faced some challenges getting to your, you uh, obviously have a lot of ac academic credentials around filmmaking and everything, but you still must have struggled. And this industry is not easy. And I think the body of work, I mean, with just the trailer, I looked at the trailer and I was like, this is amazing. Uh, this is an amazing piece of work. So uh, what were your challenges uh, like when you uh, to, to thinking about the script, writing the script to all the way uh, uh, direction and production and then, you know, releasing the movie? So mm -hmm. what, what are your significant challenges that you faced? Yeah, challenges. Yeah, if you love uh, the craft and the process, then challenges are in every film, as yeah. you were saying, like coming up with your own platform like this, yeah. uh, coming up with a story, the, the challenge, the whole uh, uh, fear of the empty pages when you are developing a script, what yeah. to write, what not to write, you keep procrastinating to, yeah. till the last minute and yeah. you feel that you will be judged once it go gets on the paper and stuff like that. So yeah. the, challenges of the empty pages to developing the script. So you have to keep trying and trying to pitch it and trying just narrate it, narrating it to other people and just just us uh, getting their feedback, getting the nuances. So from there, yeah, writing on the pages and then uh, getting the funds together so that uh, uh, you can pull the movie together. So. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Uh, so we invested a lot of our own earnings and friends and family pulled it together. So that's yeah. how in terms of funding. But when you are working like it's a like a startup, uh, this business, yeah. like you have a crew of 30, 40 people and you have to lead them. You have to have common vision. You, it should not get lost while filming the whole intent of it. So yeah. each day is like a new uh, 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 like a journey. And you should not lose vision because we don't shoot in a regular, like you start from maybe you shoot some scenes from the end and then you go back. So in, so you have to be very clear what you are doing it and always connect the dots where you are heading and leading the whole, uh, like you are the captain of the ship of like 40, yeah. 50 people. And it's a long journey. Like you shoot for maybe uh, like for this movie, we shot for 24 days since yeah. it was a small budget thing. So we had yeah. to a lot of challenges to get it done in budget. So you yeah. try to get more things, uh, coverage done in less number of days and all that. So all yeah. that is always a challenge. But if you see the bigger picture, uh, yeah. like what, why you are doing what you are doing, then it becomes a little, yeah, you have no choice, but you have to keep pushing and you enjoy the whole process. How? So uh, yeah, from uh, getting it on papers, then finding the right people who might be uh, uh, put their heart and soul through the cast, then putting yeah. the crew together, then getting the money to, and now 
while it's traveling in festivals and now we want it a streaming platform so yeah getting all that is a challenge but if you enjoy the whole process and when people watch it and when they get inspired from it uh you feel that your work has served the purpose then it gives a lot of immense sense of joy and accomplishment yeah. which keeps you carry yeah but yes. it's always a challenge yeah. yeah yeah i i totally hear you like uh when as i see um as i give voices to these people right and as you see your work out there and it's very very satisfying i can totally uh, totally understand and the challenges feel like they're nothing mm -hmm. it's like taking care of your child you know i have a son yeah. and uh, basically it was the end of the day when he sleeps and i'm like okay oh, the day was fine <laughs> it's yeah. fine kind of thing so so okay so so you talked about handling a 40 member crew right uh, and within 24 days you shot this film and obviously as a director which a lot of people don't understand a lot of leadership is required right mm -hmm. uh, and um, how what uh, what according to you is your leadership style as you're handling these many people within a particular budget and within uh, trying to get uh, them all aligned together how do you do that so yeah for me it's a kind of a, you have to be a good listener first yeah and uh, from there and showcase them the bigger picture and yeah. show why we are doing what we are doing so that the challenges will come sometime the lights uh, the requirements doesn't fall in place and things yeah. like that so you yeah. have to showcase okay this is the challenge how we can tweak it to our uh, like uh, how we can play with it how we can improvise with it so my whole idea is like improv for better uh, results uh, by being a good listener to your team and core members and mm -hmm. trying to inspire them with uh, whatever is the bigger picture and showcase them why we are doing what we are doing so yeah uh, that's a kind of a style which i always feel and give them also chance to share their uh, creativity showcase their creativity be they are the cinematographer or uh, like uh, uh, like a electrician or set designer production designer so give them also uh, cre uh, creative freedom to explore and come up with ideas lot a lot of time people are very uh, dictated like they Uh, they don't give that much of space but i am a person i believe in leadership should give a space for other persons to express for the larger yeah. uh, vision of the project so that's the methodology yeah. i have used and i feel it more fulfilling so that because the journey is longer and when the budget is also is constant you have uh, to give each person space to grow and showcase their uh, creativity and yeah. uh, their willingness to be part of the larger picture yeah so um that's very interesting uh, what you brought about especially in terms of like listening i feel like listening is very important as a leader and mm -hmm. uh, that goes a very very long way so mm -hmm. tell me about a book or a mentor uh, and i i think in your case you um you're slightly differently bent as well uh, right uh, because you're thinking about uh, folks in daravi uh, and which a lot of people won't won't think about um, you know how india is like you'll move on <laughs> especially bombay <laughs> you'll move on the very next second i was born and raised in Bom bombay so mm -hmm. uh, so like what what does like inspire you like a book or a mentor somebody who's deeply like if, um, affected you i would say ah uh, the person which really inspires me is swami vivekananda yeah. i was who was and i uh, i studied in ramkrish mission so i have been exposed to his literature and all that yeah. and he yeah. was one of the like a startup guy and he did yeah. so much in the, at such a young age he yeah. uh, without doing not using that much of marketing skills and all that when yeah. there was no this social media now we have lot of gurus and all that but he did at the age such a young age and like spread all across the world so yeah. that yeah that person really inspires me a lot and what he did yeah. at such a young age so one of uh, like as an individual and a uh, book there are a lot of books <laughs> i can't say one book but 
um yeah fiction non fiction all that is but i feel that um any one book it's very difficult to come up with but no no I, of, yeah, yeah 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 so but i really whenever i feel low i think of mr swami vivekananda what he could have done well, yeah. how he managed to pull across so many like his startups he started yeah. so many schools colleges and yeah. uh, hospitals and lot of things yeah so yeah. but was how he did how he pulled it together so all of that inspires me and keep looking at the bigger picture to keep yeah. doing what i want to do yeah yeah so it's interesting i uh, recently was speaking to a founder who went to university of chicago if i'm not wrong and he said like in chicago they have uh, like swami vivekananda had come there and they have like a i think a road named on him or something of that sort and yes. you are right he i think he by 40 he had achieved everything that needs to be achieved that yeah. you know one human can possibly uh, achieve and uh, and actually to it's funny i i would never point this out uh, you have his eyes <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah a little bit like little bit of his eyes i would say because his eyes are with his most distinct feature uh, mm -hmm. right so mm -hmm. definitely i think you have his eyes and i don't tell you point something like this out in an interview mm -hmm. so, so what according to you is the most critical skills a director needs and uh, and if somewhere and and i asked this because um one of my main motivations to do this was because when i was growing up um all i saw was my um uncles in like uh doing small businesses and my father was working for a bank and i didn't have like i didn't have anybody to coach me or mentor me and say hey akshita you can do this so everything that i've reached till here is by trial and error uh in my life but mm -hmm. i and there was no platform like youtube uh, i mean youtube grew with my age i would say so mm -hmm. um i feel like if somebody like i rombo i i I I studied I did my high school in uh Bangalore mm -hmm. and then when I was 21 and uh I was in JNC I don't know if you know Jyot Nivas and I had this photographer come to me and say Akshita uh, I I want to take a pictures I want you to be a model or something like that and I said mm -hmm. and I for me it was very scary it was not my world you know what I mean mm -hmm. uh, so I said no 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 I'm 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 a, from a very good family I can't do all this kind of a thing and education is the only way and that's about it right but today mm -hmm. like i feel like when i get these different people um and even now i get questioned quite a bit from my family for what i do right uh, when i get these different people i think they all are inspiring and um money might not necessarily be the outcome of what they do but uh they basically have done something different in their life and mm -hmm. uh, i ask this question to everyone because like what do you think a person needs to be uh, to get where you are right what what does a person need and a lot of people don't have that access or that understanding and mm -hmm. uh, as to how to become a director in fact i have people who live in silicon valley and ask me uh, ashta how do you do this kind of a thing and it's just not because because they have not thought about it they have not mm -hmm. they don't have access they have not thought about it and it is not like a tier 2 tier 3 or 3 city problem it is a a problem across kind of a mm -hmm. thing so what does it take to be a director what skills mm -hmm. you need and if somebody wants to be a director what do you think they should do <laughs> uh, i think uh, if uh, uh, if they are writer uh, then that's a starting point if yeah. you are not a writer then you should collaborate with somebody and should be a good listener and creative uh, like you should read write travel observe and as i was saying be a good listener or good overhearer that you should go into a restaurant and just over here conversation you will <laughs> like what is going on what people are liking what they are not liking what kind of conversation so from there you learn the nuances of the performances and getting how dialogue in real world happens so you should yeah. be and for severance and having discipline you should yeah. monitor your 24 hours the waking hours and sleeping hours how does each day goes and that will give you a sense of direction and you will be able to achieve that's true for any business and for uh, creative folks they tend to be a little undisciplined and they procrastinate and all that so you yeah. need uh, finding a mentor if you can 
if even if you don't then you have to just monitor where you are heading and yeah. uh, how your time is going and things like that and what you achieve out of that at the end of the day every day so yeah. a discipline persistence and perseverance and yeah. grit uh, uh is very important to come back people will judge you people will say you oh, it won't work uh yeah. no this is not working for me then you have to find somebody else yeah and pitch it and yeah. a little, little thick skin and uh gender uh bias and all that will always will be there people are people so you have to just keep pushing the boundary and uh yeah. um, see the why you are latching on the, to that story what is the bigger picture what yeah. is it the fun what is what you are getting out of it so that will keep you pushing to pursue it so i think yeah, yeah. Mm. hear you when you say discipline is very important because the biggest actors that we have had in our generations they are not the most creative people i would say they are the most disciplined people and were at it for for a long long time and if you look at it that's the only consistency that i've seen across them i would say they are the most creative people but discipline is i think most important to do anything in your life so yes. yeah uh thank you for coming uh navneet i really enjoyed talking to you and i don't know if you have anything that you want to mention about the movie and i know you have a screening here uh in mountain mm-hmm. view and yes. uh let me know if there is any other uh, message that you want to spread to the audience here um or anything that you would say uh, at the end yeah so i would request everyone who is watching here and to come to yeah. cinequest film festival which uh, yeah. starts on 24th in mountain view and our films screening kora kagaz tabla rasa which means blank slate is playing on 625 pm on 26th of august in mountain view so please be there share it with your friends it's an independent film and made with a lot of love and courage you will uh, be inspired and it's for the whole family so please yeah. bring your kids and whoever uh, and spread the word yeah yeah look for forward sure. to meeting you at the screening yeah oh i will i will try it's it, either this weekend or the next weekend i'll definitely try to make it for sure yeah so this weekend is uh, we are just playing so it's just for this weekend so if you can make it on 26 that would be okay. great yeah okay i'll try to make it on 26 for sure yeah. thank you thank you <laughs> thank, thank you, you so- yeah thank yeah. you and i'm looking forward yeah thanks yeah. a lot yeah, yeah thank like you.